right, now Dr. Reddy's has finally launched its generic product Allegra in the US market. In June, if you remember, last year, French drug maker Sanofi Aventis, the innovator of this anti-allergy drug, had obtained a court injunction against DRL from launching Allegra D24 on grounds of patent infringement. But now, the US FDA has given a green signal to India's second biggest drug maker to go ahead with the launch. And GV Prasad, the CEO, was in the US. And my colleague Namrata Brar, she caught up with him and started by asking him about the opportunities in the US OTC market. Uh, at, at a very broader level, I think this is a great time to be in the US as a full-service full, full service generic company because there's a lot of drugs going off patent in the next two, three years, and that represents a huge opportunity. Allegra is, of course, an attractive opportunity, but uh, more importantly, I think this is a great time to be a US company focused on the US generics market. How much would you say? Would it be about $25 million plus? Because that's what you were clocking anyways earlier. So with this, how much would it be in, ex in the excess of? So there are two things happening. As you go OTC, the prices do come down a little bit, but the volumes expand tremendously. So it should be a very attractive opportunity. So I, I can safely assume that you probably double that? Uh, I'm not going to give you a, that level of guidance. But much higher? It should be higher. Okay. In terms of competition as well between the Allegra OTC, you know, we've got the innovator Sanofi coming in, and that's not a great thing, is it, for Allegra D24? Well, I think they will create the market, and we will offer a lower-cost alternative, so it's good for us. As long as just Sanofi and us, it's a great market place to be in. What would the market size be, about $400 million, you think? The branded market is that much, and we have to see how the OTC market grows as Sanofi launches its product. And it could be much more than that. Well, I don't think it's going to be much more than that because prices have to come down and we will be a private label OTC player and uh, Sanofi will be the brand. Okay. Let's move to the other niche opportunities in US and how you want to ramp them up. There's Arixtra, there's Zyprexa and including other first two files. Uh, what are you looking at in terms of... The, the approvals for these products are overdue. So I expect to launch them in the current fiscal year. And uh, going forward, we're also looking at having two to three uh, special opportunities in the U.S. generic market every year. So on an ongoing basis, we should have a good annuity of upsides every year from now onwards. So right now, U.S. would be $1 million of your revenues? U.S. is about $400 million. Uh, so I meant $1 billion. It's going to get to a billion dollars in a couple of years, two to three years, I think. That's the target, right? $1 billion.